Hello, and welcome to my channel, Lose It Weight Loss and Nutrition. My name is Michelle, and I am a certified health coach in weight loss, nutrition, and diabetes prevention. I have also lost 126 pounds and am in maintenance. I follow the WW plan and I always calculate my calories and macros because I could be maxed out in points but very, very low in calories or vice versa. So that's really important to me. I'm also a type two diabetic and with that I need to watch my uh, and balance my protein and carbohydrates and so that is another reason why I watch my um, calories and macros. So today I would like to talk to you about meal planning and meal prepping. I know some of you are going to go, oh, I hate that. Uh, there's a lot of different stages, I believe, in meal prepping and planning. When you are first starting out in your journey, no matter what plan you are following, you are going to be overwhelmed. You're going to be getting a lot of information. And you need to be concentrating on what types of foods that you're eating and how much you're eating. That, that's just your top priority at that point. Um, and tracking, uh, whether it's uh, eye track bites or Lose It or any kind of app that you use, paper, pencil, WW, whatever it is, um, that's what you wanna concentrate on is the types of foods that you're eating um, and the tracking. So in the beginning, when you're feeling a little overwhelmed, you wanna keep it very simple. I tell all of my clients, they want all these recipes, they're feeling overwhelmed, they feel like they gotta chop up all these vegetables, they need to um, cook every weekend, and it's, it's very overwhelming, and that's not true. Um, what you're gonna find is people in different stages of their journey uh, at, you know, willing to do more prep than others. So, for example, when you first start out, and I say to keep it simple, you may not want to do a lot of cooking, or maybe you don't like to cook, or maybe you're like me, a true Gemini, and change your mind all the time. So I wanna give you some um, tips and tricks that I used uh, along my journey and that I see uh, in my Facebook group and um, on WW Connect, social media, Instagram, and I kinda of see some trends that I wanna share with you. And after we're done chit-chatting, I'm gonna take you into my kitchen and I'm gonna show you uh, not only some of my favorites, um, but you know the basics on what you need to have and what I like to have and um, you know what to do with some of those basic ingredients again to keep it very simple in my Facebook group you will find all of my tips support motivation recipes lots and lots of recipes and it's my favorite thing to do is to remake the recipes I try to concentrate on the, the least amount of ingredients that I can I also um, have lots of one serving options and I have uh, air frying because air frying is really great and it's quick and it's easy and it's not messy. So lots of tips and tricks there. So please feel free to join my Facebook group where you can get so much more information. I'll put that information down um, in the description box for you. I also have some of my favorite things um, on Amazon. And uh, again, I have uh, things that are helps me in the kitchen, helps me prepare single servings, uh, small mini loaf pans, things like that. Uh, I will link those um, as well. No, I don't sell on Amazon and I don't get any money from it, but um, some of the items that I'm gonna be showing you today, they're not in the store and they're not being stocked. And so um, I want you, I wanna share with you how I get that. One of the other <clears throat> sites that I use to get a lot of my sugar-free items is nutrition.com and I will link that information um, down in the comments as well for those of you that um, want some of those more difficult uh, items to find and I'll show you that when we go down into my kitchen. So let's start from the beginning. So when you're starting out and you're learning the types of foods that you are going to be eating 
And this could be just for people that feel overwhelmed, not know what to eat. It could be for those of you that don't like to cook, don't want to cook, uh, want simple and quick, don't have time to cook. Um, this is all for you. So when you first start out, you have three meals and three snacks that I like to meal prep for. And so I have my breakfast items. And for my breakfast items, I have oatmeal, eggs. Uh, let's see what else I keep. Um, I have my protein drinks that I like to add to my coffee. And I'll show you those when we go downstairs. I have my Greek yogurt. Um, let's see what else I have here for you. And um, I make some and freeze some uh, breakfast burritos and breakfast sandwiches. And, and again, I'll show you that information down there. So breakfast. And um, for lunch items, I try to keep it very simple because I pack my lunch for work. And so I do low carb wraps. I do um, no sugar added deli meats. Like uh, I'll do ham. I'll do chicken or turkey breast deli meat. And I always try to add some veggies to that and a piece of fruit. That's usually what I have for my lunch. And the other options that you have, of course, is a salad. And um, some people love salad and some people aren't that big of fans of salad. And, and that's okay. Um, sometimes we have to meal prep that salad and cut up veggies. And, and that that's part of our journey. When you're meal prepping, you always want to start with your protein first because that is what we tend to be the most deficient in. So start with your protein, whether it's your phi or your egg or your lean meats, and then you're going to go to what vegetables you're going to add to it. Then don't forget your healthy fats is very important. Now in this keto low carb lifestyle, you see a lot of recipes that call for butter and um, fats in every meal. You have to be careful with that because they're very um, heavy in calories and uh, points. But also you, the minimum required per day is a teaspoon of olive oil. Um, if you'd like to have more, absolutely you can. I don't go over three servings of di a day because I just don't feel that I need that and it keeps me satisfied. Fat does keep you satisfied uh, longer between meals. And so um, I stick with the olive oils, the avocado, um, olives, uh, and other healthier fats. One of my favorite things to do is I will take a zero or a very, very low calorie dressing or dip and I add a little bit of olive oil to it and it helps with the um, consistency of it a little creamier and it also gives me some of the um, important fats that we need in our diet one sure sure sign if if you are not getting enough healthy fats in your diet is you'll notice it in your skin first your skin will become very very dry and you think oh i need more water which of course we do need our water but um, sometimes it's because we're not getting enough uh, healthy fats in our diet. So um, lunch also, uh, I'm a big fan of tuna and um, easy, quick uh, proteins and veggies is usually what I stick with. And then I have a piece of fruit at lunch. So um, for snacks, um, Snacks, I like to do, I'll make my own hummus. You don't have to make your own, you can buy the hummus. Just remember that the hummus that is store-bought does have the oil in it, so it will be a little bit heavier in points and calories. Not a bad thing, it's okay, but you gotta watch your servings. If you make your hummus, I make mine without oil, then um, you can have up to a third of a cup uh, as a serving. I use veggies, I use pretzels, and I use, um, veggies, pretzels, and, and some low-carb crackers. Um, I, one of my favorites is the Good Thins uh, corn crackers because you can get like 42 of them for three points, and so I'm all about a bargain like that and getting uh, as much as I can for my allotment of calories or points. And um, the FIA 
Greek yogurt is my favorite. I use it the most. It's the only one that I buy. Chobani is a really good one too. As far as consistency and recipes, those tend to be my favorite. But, um, you know, you may not be a fan of that. And so you just got to try. They do sell them in smaller um, individual sizes so that you can give it a try and, and see which ones that you find that you like. Light and Lively is another um, flavored yogurt that uh, people like and um, is low points and they have all different kinds of yummy flavors there. Um, as far as the Faye non-fat Greek yogurt, what I like about it is it's got a good source of protein, but you can do so many things with it. You can make the two ingredient dough, you can add fruit to it and sweetener, you can um, add sugar-free, fat-free pudding to it and make some desserts. It's just so versatile. It's, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. So I try to pick out um, three types of snacks for myself. Oh, one other item that I like to do with the Faye is make dips. And so what I do with the non-fat Greek yogurt is I will add a tablespoon of the ranch, uh, Hidden Belly Ranch powder, or I will do the onion, lift an onion soup mix. Um, sometimes I'll make a clam dip with some minced clams, some Worcestershire sauce, and some minced onion, and that's really good too. So don't forget those snacks. It doesn't just have to be fruit. Um, fruit is very, very healthy. I've never known anyone to gain um, weight because of the fruit that's in their diet. But I will say, being a diabetic, that um, I don't go over two servings a day for me. Um, sometimes if I'll use it in a recipe, it may be three servings, but I do have to watch my fruit. If you find yourself eating fruit all day and you're not losing, you may want to look at that because of the sugar content. It may um, set you on a cycle of, of craving um, carbohydrates. And so um, that would be something that I would look into if I was still having hunger issues um, while finding, while while following a plan um, that is not controlling my hunger. So um, meal planning. Okay, so what I do, so I pick three snacks and I pick um, three meals and I pick two lunches and two different kinds of breakfast for that week. And this way I have options because this girl really needs her options. So I have this handy dandy um, meal planner and I'll show you that meal planner that I use. It's made by um, Life and Apples. This is one of my favorites though. I do get it on Amazon. It's $11.99 for a big tear off um, booklet. And what I like about this is the grocery list, list is perforated so you can tear it off and take it to the grocery store when you're all done. So what I do with this is I start with um, my items that I'm going to have for that week. My three um, meals, my two, three snacks, and my two breakfasts and my two lunch. From there, I decide um, what I'm going to be needing to prep. So I will write in the middle the items that I need to prep. So this is my ideas of what I want to have um, during the week with a couple of options in there. Then I will write my list of what I need to meal prep. I'll put a little box next to it so I can check them off as I prep. And over here, um, I create my grocery list from these two items. So this side is first on what you're going to be eating and planning. This part is what needs to be prepped and made. And this part is um, what you need to do for groceries. Now, um, when you're first starting out, you know, yours may not look like that. You may just use a pad of paper, but it's the idea is the same. What are you going to be eating during that week? What do you need to prep? And what do you need from the grocery store? One thing that we all know that we have to do is we do need to have our fruits and vegetables um, handy. You may decide to buy the pre-cut vegetables and that's okay your pre-cut salads and you know if that's what you need to do for convenience then by all means do that um, as you get further into your journey what you're going to find is you may be getting a little bored with um, your food choices 
And with that, you, you've kind of gotten down your program to where you know what foods to eat, you know how much food to eat, the amount of food, um, but you're kind of getting bored and you need some more variety. So that's when I like to um, try one new recipe a week. I just decide, keep it simple, one new recipe a week, just some for some variety. Um, also go on to YouTube, go on to Facebook, Google. Um, there's lots and lots of neat recipes out there. And uh, you know, you can find pretty much anything that you are craving. One thing that I really want to stress on everybody is that I would not be where I am today. I would not have hit goal going hungry. And I would not have hit goal saying I can't have or having any kind of deprivation. I always have yummy food choices. I have my treats. I have my favorite recipes. And I do not feel deprived ever. Um, it, and one of my favorites is ice cream. It took me a long time to put together something that I really enjoy as an ice cream treat. And I'll be posting that information on my Facebook as well um, because I like to share all my tips and, and recipes with you. So um, the meal prepping, one of other of my favorites is the rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken, um, it's so easy and convenient, you just pick it up. Just remember that the rotisserie chicken is a little higher in points because it has both white and dark meat. Um, but if you're just eating the breast, then it will be zero points or very much lower in calories. So keep that in mind. Um, but you can have all this convenience and still maintain, um, maintain your plan. So you don't have to cook, you don't have to make all these recipes, you don't have to go into detail on your meal planning and your meal prepping and spending all week weekend doing that. Um, you just need to find some tips and ideas that will help you succeed. And that is where I come in and that I can help you, not only my Facebook group, but with these videos. And I also offer calories and macro calculations and one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you so desire. You can um, find that information on www.loseitweightlossandnutrition.com. You can reach out to me, and I would be happy to um, see what I can do for you and set something up with you. I really cannot stress enough how important I feel it is to know the calories and macros that is for you just for you, with your body size, your age, your health conditions, everything that is just for you because we all do not fit in the box of 1,500 calories a day to be successful and to be satisfied. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a little pause and I'm going to take you into my kitchen and share some uh, tips and tricks with you, okay? Okay, welcome to my kitchen. So I have just a big old mess out here, but I wanted to make sure that I got everything. Um, one thing that I would like to cover is let's take a second to talk about protein bars, protein drinks, um, protein um, powders and drinks are really great when um, you're not able to get a good enough protein um, or a good source of protein. What you need to be cautious of is adding to uh, too many calories and too much protein into your diet, which is you know not one of our problems normally. So I'm not a big fan of protein bars because they tend to be very, calorie dense and um, sometimes a lot of more fat than I'd like to have and I'd rather um, have a lot more in my snacks so I would like to have a whole bunch of veggies and dip or hummus um, instead of just a little bar but bars are really great when you are on the run and if you have the calories and points to spend on that by all means um, you know it can be very handy 
Um, one of the things that I like to do, because I do need a little bit more protein in my diet, is I always mix the protein drink and the coffee, which is very popular, um, in the morning, and I take it with me to work. I make it into an iced coffee. And um, one of the most popular ones with a whole bunch of different flavors is the uh, Premier. And I want to say something about um, sweeteners. So a lot of times we think that we have sensitivities to sweeteners. I thought I did for years and years and years. And um, after doing some research and trial and error, I realized it was not the sweetener in products that was giving me the problem. It was carrageenan. And carrageenan is um, what is used in products, especially when they're low calorie or low fat, as an emulsifier or a thickener. And it causes GI upset, it can cause ulcers, it can cause diarrhea, bloating, just a whole bunch of um, things. And so if you're experiencing that, uh, you're probably gonna think it's from the sweeteners, but um, try products without the carrageenan and see if that is the culprit before um, you know trying a whole bunch of different products with different kinds of sweeteners in it. The um, other thing I'd like to cover with you is frozen foods. They can be very, very convenient for us, um, but they tend to have a lot of ingredients in them. They are higher in salt. They can be lower in nutrition. Um, there are some good ones out there. Uh, Healthy Choice is one of my favorites um, as far as frozen meals go, and any of the steam bowls tend to be a little bit better. Um, so make sure that you read your labels because that uh, may not always be the best choices. So, um, okay, where to begin? Let's start with breakfast. So for breakfast, as I said, I like my protein drink and my coffee and um, eggs. And uh, sometimes uh, on the weekends, if I have time, I will do the um, chicken sausage. I buy the chicken sausage and make it up into patties. I will pre-cook some eggs and um, I will do the English muffin with the eggs and the Velveeta. We need to talk about Velveeta because the original Velveeta slices are 35 calories. They are also very creamy. So ingredients that call for cheese when you want a little creaminess to it, Velveeta is a much better choice. Um, you can also use some light um, choices for um, these egg sandwiches as well. Um, they freeze really well. I also make uh, breakfast burritos um, with the sausage sometimes. And um, again, I like my Faye for breakfast in the morning. Um, but I do tend to eat the eggs. Uh, the other item I'll say is, you know, eggs kind of got a bad rap there for a while. Um, you can eat eggs every day. It, they're very healthy, um, and I do. I eat eggs every single day. They're a great source of protein. So that is not a problem for me. The other thing I'd like to share with you as far as the protein and the coffee goes is I have tried a whole bunch of different kind of syrups. And I will pay extra for the Tarani. This is my absolute favorite. And um, it does not give me any GI upset. It has the best flavor that I found. And believe me, I have tried them all. So these are wonderful, not only to use in your coffee, but you can use them with the Faye yogurt to, um, to sweeten and flavor those. I also have some recipes that I have uh, on my Facebook group or that I will be posting using um, the syrups because they're very easy and convenient and it's very good, very good. So um, as far as the breakfast burritos go and lunch, we were talking about low carb wraps. This is my favorite. It's a La Banderita. Uh, carb counter, they are 1.50 calories. Make sure you are grabbing the 50 calorie one and not the 70 or above because they are higher in points. They come in whole wheat and regular. I do have to special order these. They're hard to find. Um, I know Walmart has them sometimes, but they go really quickly. 
and um, as far as cheeses go, I love my cheese. And so um, every day for snack, I have cut up uh, cucumbers and cheese and pretzels. That's one of my favorite combinations. And so I will just get the um, cheese slices, sharp cheddar cheese, because it has more flavor. Notice it doesn't say that the reduced calorie. Um, and that's because when I, when I look at the nutrition, if it's 80 calories or lower, it's two points. And so I would rather have the full flavor um, than the non-fat or sometimes even the low fat because I think that it, it's more flavorful. The other thing that I found is um, low moisture part skim, the mozzarella, regular, not the reduced fat is 80 calories, which is the same as the reduced fat, um, but it's less expensive and it melts better and I love the flavor. So those are some items that I really, really enjoy as far as my cheeses go. I also am a huge fan and use the non-fat half and half. Not only in my coffee, but a whole bunch of recipes because it gives it a thicker, creamier texture than just using my cashew milk or my um, uh, regular skim milk. So that that is a definitely must have. The other item that um, I want to share with you, and this recipe is posted on my Facebook group as well, is the frozen berries. What you do with the frozen fruit is you put it in a sprayed, nonstick sprayed pan. You top it with sweetener and xanthan gum. Toss it, put it in the oven at 375 for 30 minutes. When it comes out, stir it up and let it cool. You'll put it in the fridge. What you end up with is a delicious fruit glaze that I use on pancakes, muffins, uh, in my frozen yogurt. I make um, a regular yogurt with it. I use it in recipes, smoothies, so, so good. So um, find that recipe because this, this is uh, definitely, I have to have this in the refrigerator at all times. So uh, that was breakfast. The other thing I wanted to show you is the Phi egg. Make sure it's the total zero. This is my absolute favorite non-fat Greek yogurt. And um, we talked about adding fruit and sweetener to it. One of the other things that I like to do for snack or for breakfast, I'm not gonna judge, is I have as many flavors as you can find in the sugar-free, fat-free pudding. I use these to make some frozen yogurt as well. I use these, um, I'll add this, the the yogurt and the Cool Whip sugar-free topping. I'll cream all that together and then I will add extracts or different flavors or my fruit and make my frozen yogurt with those. This adds a creamier texture with these two items than just the fruit and the Phi egg. Um, I use these in a whole bunch of recipes, uh, baking recipes, mud cakes, um, has just so many things so I have tons of recipes on this I also for breakfast uh, my very very favorite protein pancake mix is the Trader Joe's and it has the most flavor and I will make these into mini muffins once a week and I add extract and fruit and um, different kinds of, of flavors to get just a big variety today I'm gonna be making strawberry and blueberry the other thing I have in my arsenal is a whole bunch of different flavors of the extracts and um, I like to get these at Walmart because they have the biggest variety and um, they're, they're very affordable there. Um, sometimes when you have special extracts like the maple is kind of hard to find then I will order that on Amazon. While talking breakfast we cannot forget my favorite is oatmeal. And oatmeal I use for muffins, I use for mini loaf cakes, overnight oats, um, lots of recipes. One of my favorite, and I will share with you, um, the recipe is on my Facebook as well, is the low sugar oatmeal packets. And you mix this with an egg and a couple other ingredients, um, and I will 
try to remember to get that posted. If not, you'll find it on my Facebook group. And you can microwave this in a mug cake, and it's, it's breakfast. It's oatmeal, and it kind of tastes like a muffin. It's one of my favorites. And um, also with the oats, I like to make uh, oat bakes with um, some added protein and some fruit, and that is one of my go-to breakfasts as well. So lots of variety there. What's nice about the breakfast items is that you can make ahead and put them in the freezer. And I take them in my lunchbox, and by the time that I'm getting ready to eat it, it's all thawed, and I, I'm ready to go. So um, I'm kind of creative when it comes to my meals and my snacks. So let's go on to lunch. Um, I had mentioned the low carb wraps already. I have a low carb wrap every day for lunch, whether, um, but you know, what I put in it, it has a variety. Big fan of tuna. Um, as far as tuna goes, I like the albacore white um, tuna that is in water, of course, packed in water. And I said before um, that I really like the turkey and chicken breast deli meat and the no sugar added uh, ham. So that's kind of my go-to fare. Sometimes I'll make that into a salad and sometimes I'll make it into a wrap and sometimes I do both in the wrap. And the other item that I like for lunches is sandwiches and salads. Uh, one of my tricks also is I will take some ground chicken breast or ground turkey breast or extra, extra lean um, ground beef. And I put them in four ounce servings into the freezer and I will um, just defrost them as needed. And so what I'll do is um, I'll either make this into a patty or I'll make it into a single serving um, mini loaf, whether it's meat loaf or a sloppy joe casserole or some kind of bubble up. Um, just for me and so these are they defrost quickly and they're ready to go but for those of you that are not big fans in meal prepping what you can do is you can um, saute that ground meat with some onion I like to do some onion some bell pepper and some zucchini and what I do is I keep that in the fridge all week and what um, I will make either um, uh, they have a cheeseburger salad bowl that I will make with that or um, I will add taco mix to it and make a taco salad or uh, tacos or burritos and I will um, or I will add gravy and um, Heinz makes a gravy that is very low in calorie it's 30 calories for a quarter cup and I will top that uh, top of potato or with rice or something like that um, and that's really good, especially in the warm weather. One other item that I like for lunch is um, soup. And I don't like the light soups. I find them very bland and I just don't enjoy it. So I will um, scan and read my labels on soups. This one happens to be the Progresso. And the Progresso is two points per serving, but there's two point, uh, there's two servings in a can. So the whole can is four points, but this is regular Progresso, so much more flavor. And I'd rather take the points and um, enjoy what I'm eating than just filling my tummy with something that's really, really bland. So soup um, is great. And especially if you wanna add a low carb wrap or a little salad with it uh, to bulk it up. I'm all about volume and uh, increasing volumes to any meal with vegetables. And, um, you know, it adds some bulk and keeps you satisfied longer. Some of the other convenient items that I do is, this is the Tyson grilled chicken. You can find that in your frozen section. This is great for the people that don't wanna cook or that it goes bad quickly. You can keep this in your freezer and just kind of take out what you need at a time. Uh, they also have a Cajun. Um, flavored one that is very popular. It is quite spicy. And they also have the air fried. Tyson makes the air fried perfectly crispy. Um, I will put these in the air fryer. This happens to be the patty. And um, they also have the nuggets. And so the air fryer for a I have here for you. 
Um, I always keep paste salsa on hand because it is zero points and it has, uh, it's not a watery base and so it's really good to use in recipes. I will cook some chicken breast in my crock pot or my Instapot with some salsa and shred it and add some black beans to it and that is really good to use on anything you want, whether it's tostadas, tacos, burritos, um, I put it on salad, uh, just a big diverse um, menu plan for that. I like to have the caramel and the chocolate, though I am out of the chocolate, and this is the Sunday syrup Smuckers. Smuckers is so much better, I feel, than the Hershey's. So I do special order this, and I wanna say it's from Walmart. Okay. One of my other favorite things to do is I will take a one sheet pan. I will cut up some vegetables, all vegetables of your choice. I do bell pepper, onions, zucchini, um, sometimes some Brussels sprouts, and I will spray the pan, put all the veggies down. I put my chicken breasts on top. And what I will do is I will season the chicken breasts and the veggies in different flavors. And so I take my all seasonings, I use Dax and I use Flavor Gods and just so many more. Uh, McCormick's makes one, Lowry's. And so what I'll do is I will season each section of the pan into three or four different kinds of flavors. And I'll pack them up. When it comes to the chicken breasts and veggies, for diversity, I, it's all about the sauce. It's all about the sauce that you use. I'm a big fan of nutrition, N-E-T-R-I-T-I-O-N, nutrition.com, because I can find a lot of my sugar-free flavors there. Um, so I'd like to share some of my favorites. One of, the, one of the items that I do get there is, and I've shared this before in, I think it was my first video, is the no sugar added um, relish. Favorite hot dog ever is the ballpark smoked turkey hot dogs. Hard to find, I do special order them, love them, absolutely adore them. So I always have some of this on hand. Okay, we were talking about um, chicken uh, laid uh, on vegetables and baked. I like to slice that chicken, put it with the vegetables, keep that in the fridge. So with the chicken breast, it's all about the sauces. And so I do want to share with you some of my favorite sauces. So we've got um, Sweet Thunder Guys barbecue sauce. This is sugar-free. I ordered this on nutrition.com. We have Hughes, of course. Hughes has a whole bunch of different marinades and flavors of sauces. This one is the Sweet and Spicy um, barbecue. I get all of the Hughes usually at Walmart. Uh, also, we have his Yum Yum sauce. And this one I got in Nutrition, I believe, is the Polynesian dip sauce and the sweet chili. I can't wait to try this. I, this one I, is new. I want to have it with some chicken and veggies and um, some brown rice. I'm going to try that. We also have the Sweet Baby Ray's, the no sugar that I get at Walmart. Here is um, orange ginger marinade. Here we have the lemon herb marinade by Hughes, all at Walmart. This one um, I found at Walmart recently is the Caribbean Jerk. I haven't tried that one yet. I'm really excited to, to give that a try. And um, so explore your condiments because they will add that variety you're looking for um, with your meals. So as far as salad dressings go, um, some people will spend the points on um, using you know regular full fat salad dressings for me uh, i don't have a problem using the lighter versions but i will share with you um, especially with the skinny girl dressings they're really really good but um, to get those healthy fats in that we were talking about sometimes i'll add just a, a splash or a teaspoon of olive oil to these and it really boosts the flavor and the amount um, and that is one of my tricks for some of these light salad dressings 
Walden Farms. I do like Walden Farms. I like their um, Chipotle Ranch, their Thousand Island, and their regular ranch. Um, some people don't care for the Walden Farms, but I, I like it. I think it's pretty darn good. Uh, one of the others that I found, and I believe this was at Walmart also, was the Healthy Choice Creamy Italian. I was looking for a creamier based um, salad dressing, and Hughes has the sugar-free Italian too. And so, as you can see, they're a little bit creamier. And so, um, I like those on my salad. Of course, we always have the sugar-free, or no sugar added, um, Heinz ketchup. That's one of my favorites. I get that at Walmart. I ordered this at Walmart. This is the Strawberry Preserve Smuckers. Smuckers, again, with the sugar-free um, syrups and preserves. That's my absolute favorite. One of the other quick and easy items either to use with the two-ingredient dough or I will use this with the Faye yogurt mixed with the cheesecake-flavored sugar-free pudding. Um, and then I top it. And I top it with the no-sugar-added apple pie filling or the no sugar added cherry pie filling. That is quick and easy and really, really good. You can make little hand pies with that two ingredient dough with these as well. I always make sure that I have unsweetened applesauce on hand because I use it in a lot of different recipes and my oat bakes. Uh, and of course I always have to have my pumpkin. Usually with any of the mug cakes or the oat bakes, you need to have um, a base. And usually it's a fruit base. And we'll, I will use pumpkin, banana, or applesauce um, in most of my recipes you'll find. The other item I wanted to share with you is my cashew milk. It's a lot creamier than almond milk and I use this in recipes because it's zero points. Um, so that is an alternative there. If you're going to have pasta and you're going to have rice, please, I cannot stress enough to have the whole grain. And um, even though the points are the same, the calories are the same, the whole grain will keep you satisfied longer. It takes longer for your body to break it down. It's got the fiber and it's gonna keep your blood sugar level and you're not gonna go on that roller coaster of hunger and carb cravings. So um, whole grain pasta I always have on hand. What else do I have here? Oh, whenever I'm buying chicken breast, um, I like to add the marinade before I freeze it. So all I have to do is defrost and barbecue tonight. So I just took that out of the freezer. I like to, for my snacks, I will make a dip with the Faye yogurt and I will add the Lipton onion soup mix. As I said, I think I said that in the beginning of the video or the Hidden Valley Ranch and I've got a dip for my veggies and my crackers. Favorite crackers is the Good Thins, and I like pretzels, um, is my usual go-to. And let's make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, for breakfast, um, mug omelets, love them. They take a minute to make, you throw in your veggies, you throw in um, some of your cooked sausage, chicken sausage, or the center cut bacon, and make your add your cheese to it, and put it in the microwave for 60 seconds to 90 seconds, and you've got an omelet to, to go. So um, that is one of my favorite things to do as well when you need something a little heartier in the morning. Um, I believe that I mentioned the um, ground turkey or chicken breast that I keep in the refrigerator with the um, veggies and um, where we add the gravy, you can add the taco seasoning, you can, um, Put, combine that with a two ingredient dough either on the bottom or like a bubble wrap with some cheese. Um, it's so good and so versatile. And I think that that is all I have for you today. You on the Facebook group, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. You can either leave a comment down below, I will answer those, or you can reach out to me through my Facebook group, Messenger, or you can email me at loseitweightlossandnutrition at gmail.com. I'm happy to answer any of your questions. If you do want your calories and macros calculated, you can reach out to me as well, and we'll get that scheduled for you. I do charge $25 to do that. Um, but it's invaluable information and it's information that is individualized to your body's needs only. 
I also have um, one-on-one health coaching sessions. And uh, if you want to talk to me personally, one-on-one sessions, both at 30 uh, minutes and 60 minutes available. And again, just reach out to me. We can get you scheduled for that. I hope that you found this information very valuable today. Please, if you like these videos and you want more information, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Love to have you part of uh, my video group and also join the Facebook group and I'll get that information and the Instagram information down in the description. Uh, happy eating and meal prepping and we'll talk soon. Thanks.